hey guys welcome back to my channel AG motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates project files are available in the description so you can download it later and practice it along with them and without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 10 second long and background color I'm going to choose black color and simply hit ok, then choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action and I'll choose the call resolution instead of full, then press ctrl y to create a solid background, I'll call it as bg and for the color I'm going to choose black color only and simply hit ok and hit ok. Then press Ctrl N to create another composition and let's call it as P like this. And width for this composition I'm going to choose 300 like this. And height I'm going to choose 180 and hit OK. So we'll get this kind of composition. Now select your text tool and type one text like this. Uh, oops, uh, I don't want any stroke for this one and I'll choose white color for this. Now select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center and for the font you are free to choose whatever font you want. I am going to choose Oswald font and I am going to choose, let's choose regular version for this or you can choose lighter version also. Let's select this font, let's press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this. Press S for scaling option and scale it like this. Now select this text, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, press V and by holding Shift let's move this over here, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, by holding Shift let's move this over here, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, let's move this downwards like this, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and let's move this over here, let's select both of them and let's bring this downwards like this, select this one and let's move this over here. Now this is which is P5, it's gonna be my main text so I'll change the color for this one especially. Now right click new and I'm going to create a null object. Let's select this all of them and make it apparent with this null one. Select this null one, press P for position and let's bring this over here. Now I'm going to create one keyframe over here, go to around one second and let's move this over here like this and 1.15 I'll move this over here now let's select this one I'll hit ctrl D to duplicate it press P and let's bring this downward like this as you guys know that this is gonna be my main text like this now select those keyframe and hit F9 let's go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift I'll move this over here Select this and move this over here and this one over here. So if you see, we'll get something like this. Now select those keyframes, right click, go to the keyframe interpolation and I'm going to choose linear. So if you see, we'll get something like this. By Select all the keyframes by holding Alt, let's bring them to one second. Now select all of them, press F4 and enable this motion blur. So we will get animation with the help of motion blur by holding alt let's move this to 1.15 frames only so we will get this proper blur animation also let's move this keyframe a little bit over here like this now uh, this is my main text so i'll select another text i'll hit ctrl t to select my text tool and i'll type different text for this one similarly for this one i'll type e Let's go over here. I'll select this one or let's say this one. Let's enable this. Let's see where I'll type something like W over here. As disable, enable this for this one. I'll type E. Oh, we have already created E, so I'll type F. For this one, let's choose C. Yep, 
so now we have different alphabets for each and every one of them with the help of that we will get this kind of stuff let's select this and let's move this over here yeah so this is for my p now let's go to the project window we have this p i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and hit enter and let's call it as a hit ok double click to open this now we will select this main text hit ctrl t and let's make this a now select this a hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit enter and let's call it as s double click to open it and make this a s now select this as hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as i double click to open this select this and let's call it as i select this i hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as o double click to open it and let's call it as o hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as n hit ok double click to open it and let's call it as n so my texts are ready i'll go to the main animation and let's lock this first of all uh, let's select open tool and i'm going to choose stroke color white and i'm going to create one stroke like this let's make this full resolution select this at stroke width i'm going to choose six hit ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it vertically like this now press p for position and let's move this over here now we will go to the add menu and we will choose repeater and go to the repeater and go to the transform repeater one and let's increase the size somewhere around like this and also increase the copies of it now select this press p for position and let's move this over here let's go to the content repeater one and let's go to the transform repeater one and also we will decrease the size from here like this now we will select this p and we will bring this over here and let's lock this yep now let's move this over here then we will bring our e and let's move this over here then bring this press ctrl r sorry uh, press ctrl r to create this ruler and we will bring one ruler over here so we can see uh, they should touch each other over here now press bring our s over here and let's move this over here now select this as hit ctrl d let's move this over here now we'll bring our i let's move this over here bring this at the top then bring our o back let's move this over here then now we'll bring our n like this and let's move this over here okay so our text is ready so if you hit play let's use quarter resolution we will get something like this now hit page down button two times let's select this move this over here hit again two times select this move this over here again two times select this move this over here so as you can see we are getting this kind of text so select this shape layer go to the repeater one and let's decrease the number like this let's make this six yep now hit u now i am going to select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and i'll call it as passion x and light like this now let's go inside this we will hide this text for now 
I'll select the shape layer. Let's go to the content over here like this. Go to the shape one or let's say repeater one. Go to the transform repeater one. Create one keyframe at the start and go to around 1.15 frames. Again, create another keyframe. Go to the start and let's make this zero. Now select those keyframe, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here and this handle over here. So you get something like this. Now let's go to the add menu and we will choose trim path. Go to the trim path. Let's make this zero or let's say choose 50 and start also 50. Create another keyframe. Go to one seconds. Let's make this zero and let's make this 100. Now select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here and this handle over here. And I'll go over here and I'll select those keyframes and let's move this over here. Select this, move this over here. So if you see, we will get this kind of animation or you can move those keyframes over here. Like this. And now let's disable this graph editor and from this point I want my text should start animate so I'll enable this like this so they will start to animate from here now go to the main animation like this I'm going to select my rectangle tool and I'm going to create one mask of this composition like this. Press V, double click and let's move this mask over here. Go to the mask and I'm going to increase the feathers like this. So if I see, my animation will look like this. Now select this, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor part of the center, press S. Let's move this over here and this one should be over here or you can simply align it horizontally and then align it vertically we don't want this grid over here so now we will get this kind of text animation yep and now uh, we can do certain things like you can add another text like follow your so I'll get Hit Ctrl A, let's decrease the size. Select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home and go to the Align tab, align it horizontally. And let's enable this so we can see where we can place it. I'll place it over here. I'll go to the character menu and I'll increase the distance between these alphabets. So it will match with this. Let's decrease the font size a little bit. Yeah, let's move this somewhere around over here. Select this, press P, and let's move this over here. I'll select this, hit Ctrl D, press P, and let's move this over here. Yep, so now go to the start, select both of them, press P for position. And create one keyframe on each and every one. Go to 1.15, select both of them, and create another keyframe. Go to the start, select this one. Let's move this over here. Select this one, and let's move this over here. Select those keyframes. Hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift. Let's move this over here. Now select both of them and press Ctrl Shift C, and let's call it as. And hit OK. Sorry for the space mistakes. And you can select this. You can select this rectangle and you can create one mask like this. And you can go to the mask. You can increase the faders to 40 and choose inverted map. So now, if you see, you will get this kind of animation. And you can go over here. You can hit U. You can select this last keyframe and you can move to 3 also so animation will look quite smoother 
or right click new and create one null object select both of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one go to the start press s let's make this 90 or let's make this 110 or create one keyframe and go to around 6 seconds let's make this 90 then hit end and now if we hit play we will get this kind of scaling animation let's go inside this one and we'll select this we will hit u we will select this keyframe go to the graph let's select this graph let's move this somewhere over here adjust the graph yep so if i see this animation i will get something like this so yep this is how you can create this kind of elegant title animations So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.